Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I'd like to show you how to do layer tran layer layer transfers, stuff like that. So I'm gonna get started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use a simple building so then you know um so then you can follow easily on what's going on. Sometimes there are videos that I make that are not so easy it's because sometimes the building is complex. Um and it's just hard to tell, so I tell you what, I'll use an easy building and then um, you can work off from there. Because the idea is just about the about the topic. Alrighty then, let's get started. So, um we will just begin by just examine the building, which we're doing. And then what you're going to do is also, um, what I usually do is for layers, I usually um, make each floor its own layer. So, say that you don't have any layers so far and it's all empty. The building is all empty. You want to put rooms inside. But, you know, working like this will be very, very difficult. Well, at least, you know, not very comfortable. So, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to make layers. And I'm going to... Make a layer for each floor and transfer, etc., etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up the building about how high up a floor should be in this building. Um, give it nine feet. Yeah, that's good enough. And then you'll go ahead and make a plane that cuts the building, cuts through the building. Then you will right click on that plane and copy it however many times you need to. Going up from floor to floor, not floor to ceiling, but from floor to floor, so. To make it even. Make sure these are straight up. Right, you see them all? Now we will cut those planes. The reason why do you cut them out and make them individuals just so then in case a model isn't as simple as um, this building, you know. This is how you do more complex models. And then you just go and erase whatever whatever part of the planes you don't need. Um, you can see it looks like a bunch of lines. Go inside and get rid of them. Sorry, I accidentally hid that line instead of erased it. So now you got what you need. Cool. So if, um, it looks like a building from a modular building. So then you go to Window, up at the top, upper toolbar, Window, Layers, Layer 0, as you can see everything's on that one layer. Usually when you download something, that's what you get. Or whatever layers the building came, the model comes with. Right now we're gonna, we're gonna give it a second floor, and we'll go up how many floors it has. And we'll plus again. Every time you add a layer, you click the plus button. Um, now, usually in a repetitious building like this, you usually just make components, but this is a demonstration because not all models are going to be like this and then we'll make one for the roof alright so what we're going to do is you see this little dot here this little dot in indicates whether or not a layer is active or not so in this case the layer 0 is active 
I noticed that you can't hide it. These check marks tell you whether if they're hidden or if they're visible. They're hidden when there's no check mark. They're visible when there is. You can't hide an active layer. But then, but what you can do is you can activate a layer just by clicking on the circle and it automatically makes it, as you can see, it automatically makes it visible. So all we're going to do is we're going to go back to layer zero and we are going to hide the roof layer. And I'll show you why in just a second. Roof layer hidden. I'm going to turn back on these other layers just so you see what I'm saying. So as you can see the roof layer is the only one hidden. And this is the roof. You take your select tool and make sure and what you want to do is make sure everything's lined up. So go to camera on the upper toolbar, go down to parallel projection, click on it, and then you see these views, click on the front. And click on the back, click on the front, and then just anything above that line, you know, and then right click on it, Entity, Info, as you can see it says layer zero. Take it to the roof layer. It's hidden. The reason why I already turned off that layer is just so then you know that the layer transferred to where it needs to be. And then we just go on so on down. Um, we'll turn off the fifth floor layer. Then we'll just transfer it, fifth floor, then fourth floor, transfer, third floor, transfer. And if you accidentally transfer on the wrong layer, you know, just retransfer it. Alright, so now you got all your layers. Camera, parallel projection. And then what you see here is just a bunch of just empty areas. What you also want to do is go in and clean some things up, like cleaning up things over here makes your modeling a lot sorry sometimes that happens accidents happen makes modeling a lot easier when everything's cleaned up and sometimes when you download a model and want to put an interior in it cleanup is almost mandatory I mean, it'll just make your life a whole lot easier, so why not do it that way? Alright, so everything seems clean enough. You will take your offset tool up at the top and give the walls the thickness that you want for now we'll just call it this and sometimes you'll have some unusual pieces Then erase what's around that offset, so then you can extrude. Never mind this, this is just um, clean up. Because you have to make sure the height is right. 
it's not right, you'll mess up your whole project. Okay, so this is a floor. And what you'll do is select all connected, make a group. And then you'll bring this up. Um, you'll bring it up however many feet it's needed. Then you'll right click, make component. Because if it's a building like this, you know, you can make a component, and that's how it works. But not on all models, not on all projects, just special projects. Then just go ahead how many floors you have. In this case, I have five. So what I'll do is, I'll mark them accordingly. Right click. But always just make sure when you're going to Entity Info up here, you're always making sure it's being transferred to the right layer. Like I said, if it's a wrong layer, you just retransfer. And when it's a component or like a, it's a component or a group, you can do that easily. Okay, so we got all that. Now what we're going to do is like, I mean for something like this, edit group and put in whatever you want. For example, if we want like a 8 by 8 room. Be like so. And then just make your wall thicknesses. Ah, uh, you know how to make doors now, hopefully. And then, I mean, what you'll go back and do is you'll cut through the windows and stuff. But that's not the point of the video. You'll close your group. And go to the second floor. You also got to get rid of what you don't want. Just go and edit component, get rid of this. No, I mean of course because of this porch in this building, you know, but say we want to divide this room this area in half. And do that. And we are on the second floor layer. however much you want. And furthermore, get rid of what you don't want. And as you can see for a building like this, you know, each floor would look the same. Why haven't I gotten rid of all these? Alright, and also what you are going to do is you are going to go back in now. We'll go back on the first layer. And notice how everything reappeared when I turned on the it layer by layer. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to camera, parallel projection, front. 
you see these lines here? I'm not going to erase them, we're going to hide them. So go up to the um, select tool and make sure it is this gray box, gray solid box, not the not the dotted box. And go over the lines. And it hide because you don't want to hide your components as well. So just the lines. Hide. Hide. Now sometimes you you have little things like this clock or whatever that might get affected. You just have to go back and fix it. All right, camera pro, and then we reached our goal for this video. Hopefully, As you can see it's on the first layer, so then you can see things turn off and on. And then also you can just turn on them randomly, or if I have the roof layer on, and then just play with it, you know? Alright everybody, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Any feedback whenever necessary. Alright everybody, thank you for watching, have a great day. Alright, bye bye.